वेलकम टू योर कंप्यूटर क्लास क्लास एट्थ वी हैव रीड थ्री चैप्टर्स नाउ टिल नाउ अभी तक हमने थ्री चैप्टर्स कंप्लीट कर लिए हैं एंड नाउ इट इज टर्न टू स्टार्ट आर फोर्थ चैप्टर विच इज अबाउट फोटोशॉप सी सी सो लेट स्टार्ट रीडिंग अबाउट फोटोशॉप सी सी स्टूडेंट्स You might have noticed that photograph in marriage album, albums, magazines, or catalogs of any cosmetic company are much different from the common picture you click daily. A normal-looking person looks ravishing, dull skin turns bright, wrinkles disappear from the face of old people, and eventually a person looks better in the pictures than they look in the real life. like you can see here in this picture before after can you imagine how it all happens well this alteration is made possible with the photoshop software about photoshop photoshop popularly known as photoshop is a graphics editing program developed by about systems photoshop is widely used by millions of graphics artists and so on Now we will discuss the features of Photoshop CC. It has revised user friendly interface. Number 2, photo air editing can be done more effectively with very little efforts. Means we have to use very little efforts and uh, photo can be turned out very good. It has redesigned powerful tools to enhance or change the color of an image by adjusting the brightness and contrast color balance hue and saturation level curves etc crop it has redesigned power, powerful tools to crop or resize the picture without losing the quality of an image and remove the unwanted object from the picture using the vanishing paint tool click the drag cross drag across an image to make fast selection with the quick new quick selection tool so here we we have read read uh like two tools first is vanishing point tool second is quick selection tool now what have what is else you can create graphics for web application with read with reduced file size thereby helping in faster loading of the website files can be compressed by 10 to 15% of its original size you can also make animated graphics which is also known as graphic interchange format which you can see gif image like okay layer effects preserve the original state of an image while manipulating another version of the of it through another layer layer 3d effects incorporate completely new and improved extents to an object by introducing new 3d reflections icons another features of photoshop are an improved print preview simplifies printing options and eliminates the need for separate print and print with preview commands the new align and blend feature help save time the tool recordings using actions in photoshop cc enables us to add brush strokes and different helpful tools the new addition of the video timeline panel enables you to add effects to the video clips in photoshop the blur gallery allows you to apply and combine three different kinds of blur and create effects content aware patch allows you to heal undesirable portions of an image content aware move enables you to select pixels and drag it to some other part of an image without using layers or mask the magical part is that it fills the hole with matching elements from the existing background and shifts the pixel to a new location a new adaptive 
wide angle filter enables you to strengthen the curves and lines in the photographs and quickly achieve effects on the image where there is a less space. With the new powerful vector tools, designers can now design and shape graphic elements more quickly and easily. Now we will read about know the fact. It's very very important. About Photoshop, about Photoshop, about Photoshop, Photoshop 1.0 was launched in 1990. Different versions of Photoshop have evolved till now from Photoshop 2.0 to about Photoshop. The latest version Photoshop 18.0.1 is popularly known as about Photoshop CC. So you are reading the latest version. It was released in August 2018. Starting about Photoshop CC. Now we will discuss how we start about Photoshop CC. The to start Photoshop follow the sequence of steps which are that which are added. First of all we will click start then here is a folder named about Photoshop CC. We will click it and the about Photoshop will open. Now the next fact file is the credit for the invention of about Photoshop means who invented about Photoshop? Thomas Knoll. Who invented the first version of Photoshop in 1987 which was known as display program. Components of Photoshop CC Here Components of Photoshop CC You can see here like tool panel and here the white blank area is called workspace Upper side on the second second bar is an option bar. First, first top bar is the menu bar. And the first left bar is called title bar. And other is panels. So, another know the fact is the default extension of a boot Photoshop file is dot .psd. Dot. So we will save when we will save our, our about Photoshop presentation it will create and it will it will have a, it will have a extension is dot psd dot. So now we have read about uh, the the panels now panels so we will discuss it in the lecture. Menu bar. It is the most topmost horizontal bar in the Photoshop window that contains all the main menus of Photoshop, such as file, just my file hota hai and edit, image, layer, type, select, filter, 3D view, window, and help. All these options are available in that. And the second one is option bar control panel. The option bar control panel lies below the menu bar which is below the menu bar. It displays the options related to the currently selected tool in the tools panel. Next is document view. It is the area that displays the image file you want to edit. The name of the image file appears as a tab at the top of the document window. Now next is panel. On the right side of the Photoshop window, there is a separate area for panels. Photoshop offers various panels that can either be grouped, stacked or docked. By using various options for these panels, you can monitor and modify the properties of an image. To float them, we have to use click on the top of the panel, drag the, drag the panel while keeping the left mouse button pressed. The most commonly used panel. There are many many panels which are which are, are as follows: color panels, swatches panel, adjustment panel, style panels, history panel, and layer panel. 
and next is tools panel we will now we will read it deliberately now first is color panel as we as you know about color color is color rung the color panel displays the color values for the current four background all about color it's all about color you can use the sliders in the color panel to change the foreground and background colors using different color modes you can also select the foreground or background color from the spectrum of colors displayed at the bottom of the panel now swatches panel the swatches panel stores the most frequently used colors you are using most frequently you are using that color so it will store that you can easily add or delete customized colors from the swatches panels also next adjustment panels the adjustment panels helps you to apply an effect to a group of layers in a much easier way later on you can edit the effect that effect while preserving the original layers the adjustment panel has a style tab to its right style panel the styles panel allow you to view select and apply and preset layer effects styles by default a preset style replaces the current layer style you can also add your own style using the create new style icon history panel you can access your documents history and the history panel and undo the changes very easily the layers panel layers panel in photoshop displays all the layers in an image it also shows the various effects applied to the layers okay now let next is the tools panel like you can see in the image tools panel have less lots of tools tools panel is the left side of the photoshop window it works like an artist paint box and holds a variety of tools like i've so told you many tools variety of tools that helps us to draw paint and manipulate the images like you can see there are move tool artboard tool lasso tool polygon lasso tool magnetic lasso tool and these are crop tools these are brush tools these are stamp tool eraser all erasers are available blur sharpen smudge tool many of tools many of the tools you are aware of because you have also already used that them in the mobile also let's know more in photoshop cc you can customize your tools panel as per your need by using the edit toolbar tool in the tools panel if the tools panel is not visible in on the screen choose window from the menu bar and select the tool option so that's it we will discuss later on another topics okay bye